Hi everyone, I'm Kyo, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite pasta dishes. It's simple, it's delicious, and everyone's going to love it. It's called Pick Pack. Let's get into it. Alright, for this dish you're going to need pasta, fresh basil, a tablespoon of red wine, a tablespoon of olive oil, and a tablespoon of garlic, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, three Roma tomatoes, and Parmesan. We're going to start by dicing up the tomatoes. So first you're going to uh, cut them in half, uh, then you're going to quarter them. And the little piece where the stem was attached, uh, you're going to go ahead and remove that, as you can see here. And then throw one of your tomatoes off of the cutting board, um, and continue to remove those pieces. Once you've removed all those pieces, you're going to go ahead and cut them in half again and start dicing them up. And I know right here a lot of people are going to start saying, oh, you should have blanched them and shocked them in an ice bath and removed the skin. But the thing is, the skin is, there's nothing wrong with it. You're going to get cooked down so much that it's really irrelevant and also the skins contain lycopene which is a good thing all right so now we're going to move on to basil and as you can see here i'm just tearing all the leaves off of the stem and you can throw the stem away once you've done that you're going to go ahead and roll up your leaves uh really tight but you know, be careful not to bruise them once you've done that uh gotten a pretty good cigar shape then you can go ahead and start slicing them all right, so now once you slice them up, you have officially created a basil chiffonade. So for anyone out there that wants to sound bougie in front of their friends, there you go. All right, so now we're going to grab your Parmesan and your microplane. Start grating that Parmesan up, and you can use any other hard cheese. Oh, that's not a problem. You just grab that little piece and go ahead and finish it off. But like I said, you can use any Parmesan you'd like or any other hard cheese. I'm using Parmesan Reggiano. All right, so you get your water boiling, make sure it's properly seasoned with salt. You wanna make it uh, about as salty as the ocean is what they usually say. Uh, throw your noodles in and make sure they're completely submerged. All right, it's time to start cooking. So you're gonna go ahead and put your olive oil in a pan that is heated over medium high heat. You're gonna add your garlic to that and give it a little stir. Just saute that down a little bit to really bring out the flavors in it. Once you've done that, you'll go ahead and add in your tomatoes. And the same situation, just gonna go ahead and give that a stir as well. Make sure that they're all mingling well together. While it's simmer, you're gonna go ahead and add in your spices. So we got your black pepper, your salt, and your sugar. Once you add all of those in, go ahead and obviously give that another stir. All right, so once you're in the stirring mood, you're gonna go ahead and stir that pasta as well. You wanna make sure that it doesn't stick together. All right, very important key ingredient that I forgot, uh, just a high quality tomato paste. Um, usually you can find them in tubes. Uh, so just a tablespoon of that. You're gonna add that into your pan and go ahead and give it another stir. Don't forget to check your noodles. And these have been going for about 10 minutes now, and that's usually for this brand of fettuccine, it should be about al dente. The best trick for checking it is just uh, eat a piece, and it should be, yep, yeah, it was good. All right, so now it's time to strain your pasta. But before you do that, make sure that you reserve a quarter cup of that pasta water. Just go ahead and add it to your sauce. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna lighten up the sauce a little bit. It's gonna bring a little extra flavor, and it's also gonna help the sauce actually cohere to the noodles a little better. All right, so your sauce is done, your pasta is strained. You're gonna go ahead and throw the sauce into the pot with the noodles. And something that I did off camera, and I'm sure somebody's gonna catch this, is I forgot to put the red wine. So <laughs> I added it in, uh, don't worry, it's there. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the basil chiffonade, and you're gonna go ahead and dump that in and just stir it up. And this dish is done. So the only thing left to do now is plate it, and eat it. For plating, I like to just add a little extra fresh basil on top and your Parmesan. Well, there you have it. Pick Pack. It's simple, easy, and delicious. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, comment down below. Let me know what other recipes you want to see. Thanks.